very good evening and welcome to State of Business on our television. I'm Ashing Sunny Vita Singha. Let's have a look at the headlines for today. Labor force participation rate for the third quarter of 2019 is 52.2%. Greenland Revenue Department now entertain voluntary registrations for the value-added tax as part of the government's stimulus package. News in detail. The Inland Revenue Department announces that it will entertain voluntary registration for the value-added tax after it deactivated over 50,000 previously registered persons or enterprises as part of the new government's stimulus package. The Inland Revenue Department went for this decision as directed by the Ministry of Finance. Though the normal procedure is that a person or an enterprise must apply for deregistration and the Commissioner-General must give approval to convey that new VAT relief is effective from the 1st of January, the government directed the IRD to deactivate over 50,000 previously registered persons or enterprises in one go. This was on account of the government deciding the value of taxable supplies for the purpose of registrations for VAT should be increased to 75 million rupees per quarter or 300 million rupees per annum with effect from the 1st of January. This was subject to formal amendments to the Value Added Tax Act No. 14 of 2002 and to be passed in Parliament. Accordingly, VAT registration of persons of whose taxable supply has never exceeded 75 million rupees for any taxable period ended prior to the 31st of December last year was deactivated with effect from the 1st of January. As per the voluntary registration for VAT procedure, any person who wishes to continue the VAT registration should make a request to the Commissioner, Customer Information Update Unit of the Inland Revenue Head Office or any nearest regional office to activate the registration. Any person who wishes to obtain a new VAT registration can also make a request in the form specified along with the required documents to the Commissioner Tax Registration Unit or any nearest regional office. However, VAT collected prior to the 1st of January 2020 shall be paid on or before the 20th of January 2020 and the VAT return shall be submitted for the period as usual. Sri Lanka Labor Force Survey of the third quarter in 2019 emphasizes that the number of unemployed persons in Sri Lanka during the third quarter of last year is estimated as 437,797 with the unemployment rate of 5.1%. Sri Lanka Labor Force Survey is designed to measure the levels and trends of employment, unemployment and labor force in Sri Lanka and has been conducted quarterly since the first quarter of 1990. Sri Lanka Labor Force Survey third quarter 2019 contains data collected in July, August and September in 2019 covering the whole country. According to this report, labor force participation rate is 52.2% for the third quarter of 2019 and the unemployment rate for the survey period is 5.1%. The report says during the third quarter of 2019, the total number of employed persons in Sri Lanka is estimated as about 8.2 million of which about 47.7% engaged in service sector, 27% in industry sector and 25.3% in agriculture sector. Compared to second quarter in 2018, in second quarter 2019, there is an increase in employment in agriculture and services sector. On the other hand, the number of unemployed persons is estimated as 437,797 during the third quarter 2019 and the unemployment rate for the third quarter 2019 is 5.1%. State Minister of Tourism Promotion Arun Dika Fernando says the government has plans to redevelop domestic airports and priority would be given to commence domestic scheduled flights linking Mattala, Jaffna and Batiklo. Addressing a media briefing in Colombo, he also criticised the inadequate attempts of the previous regime in promoting country as a tourist destination. State Minister of Tourism Promotion Arun Dika Fernando stresses that the Sri Lankan Tourism Ministry has over 2,000 acres of land with clear title available for both local and foreign investors that can be given for investors on a 30-year lease agreement by the Ministry approval. These lands are concentrated at Kalpitiya, Deidur and Kuchaveli integrated tourism zones and in addition, more land is available at different locations, State Minister added. Meanwhile, he also noted that the plan to redevelop domestic airports would continue and priority would be given to commence domestic scheduled flights linking Mattala, Jaffna and Batiklo. 
He said that both the Colombo Airport and Colombo Fort Railway Station would offer more facilities for tourists. He also said that investments would be made from the ministry to redevelop the Sigiriya Cultural Museum, which has been neglected. Moreover, State Minister Arundhika Fernando noted that there has been a lot of misappropriation of funds during tourism promotions during the previous regime and a committee must be appointed to inquire on those. He reiterated that the Yahapalaniya government has not taken the maximum usage from the tourism fund and has carried out impromptu campaigns failing to promote the country in the international arena properly. Sri Lankan Airlines, the largest courier into the Maldives, won the coveted title of leading international airline of 2019 at the Matato Travel Awards in the Maldives, polling the most number of votes from the travelling public ahead of many of the world's best reputed airlines. The Maldives Travel Awards is a product of the Maldives Association of Travel Agents and Tour Operators and the 8th edition of the awards had a record number of nominations in all major categories with 236 nominations in 28 categories representing more than 100 registered travel brands in the Maldives. In the leading international airline of the year category, Sri Lankan Airlines successfully competed with last year's winners, Singapore Airlines, Emirates Airlines, Etihad Airways and Bangkok Airways. Sri Lankan won based on a combined total of over 110,000 registered votes that were cast via online SMS and reviews by travellers. The annual gala awards ceremony at Crossroads Maldives brought together the largest club of travel professionals and executives in the Maldives for an evening of celebrations. Sri Lankan has been consistently winning prestigious accolades including leading international airline in South Asia and leading airline passenger class business award both for the second consecutive year at the South Asian Travel Awards 2019 etc. Stay tuned for more news after this short break. Welcome back after the break. Football Federation of Sri Lanka announces that Vantage FA Cup 2019 is now at the quarterfinals where the top eight performing teams in the tournament have been selected after a round of 16 which concluded recently. During the media briefing held to announce further details on the Vantage FA Cup 2019, it was noted that the winners from quarterfinals will enter to the semi-final stage that will take place during the month. FA Cup Championship is the longest standing and popular knockout basis tournament conducted by Football Federation of Sri Lanka annually. 2019 year's championship kick-started during March 2019 with the participation of a record-breaking 827 football clubs representing 63 football leagues across the island and the championship consists of three stages namely preliminary stage, district stage and national stage. The final of the tournament is scheduled to take place within the upcoming months. President of Football Federation of Sri Lanka, Anura Di Silva, also expressed views on the changes that should be made in the coming FA Cups. We are also concerned. In fact, we want to, uh, when we uh, start the FA Cup for 2020, of course there are some changes as we discussed, because now even the, the, the current FA Cup, we started with 873 teams, so we really need, uh, need to look into it how better or what is the real contribution by the clubs or we really get the best, uh, the better clubs or the like Red Rose or some other club, the playing clubs must be given a I mean, far better opportunity to perform. Janul De Silva of Royal College emerged as the first runner-up whilst Vignesh Piraparan of Lyceum International School Panadura was placed sixth at the 14th World English Scrabble Players Association Youth Cup held in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia recently. Almost 200 players from 18 countries including UK, USA, Australia and Hong Kong participated at this year's championship which was won by Tarin Pyra of Thailand. Janul, with his 2019 performance, completed a hat-trick of first runner-up achievements at the World English Scrabble Players Association Youth Cup following his achievements in Kuala Lumpur in 2017 and Dubai in 2018. Together with the fourth place he achieved in Perth 2015, Janul became the most consistent performer in the 14-year history of the Vespa Youth Cup. 
Vignesh, who was placed 8th in Kuala Lumpur in 2017, has been another consistent performer for the Sri Lankan youth team, narrowly missing out on the top 10 achievements on three occasions. The achievements of Janul, Vignesh and Nimutu Vitharana of Richmond College, who came 20th, saw Sri Lanka ending up with the same number of wins as Thailand and Singapore in the battle for the best national team. Now we have a subject expert at First Capital Holdings bringing you a detailed review on the stock performances of the past week and a stock forecast for the coming week to assist you in your decision-making activities. Stock market continuously showed up a downtrend for the third consecutive day on its Wednesday amid the US-Iran tensions and foreign buying was witnessed on selected counters during the week. The rest of the market was broadly silent with weak investor interest. On Thursday, market turned green while recording a turn of LKR 23 billion, mainly contributed by John Key's transaction. We expect market activities to slowly pick up with the release of company earnings in the following week. We expect the market to be on a positive momentum on expectations on strong earnings from companies as we are registering a recovery in demand. However, foreigners are likely to show some selling pressure. That's all the news for today. You can also watch our news and latest updates through our Facebook page, Art Television. You're now given an opportunity to send your feedback over your daily business lineup, state of business and biz roundup. Email us your comments, ideas and waves to newsmanager at arttvlk.com or call us on 011 That's it for today and see you tomorrow on Biz Roundup. Until then, take care.